Hey guys, so today I thought I would give you a video on my hay routine and just kind of like what I do with my hay, how I get it, how I store it, and how I give it to my bunnies and things like that. So I just got back this morning from picking up a new bale of hay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of my car, which is why you're looking at the back of my car right now. So this is the hay that I have. I'm kind of in the process of finding a new hay supplier, so I've been trying a ton of different bales from a ton of different farms, and this is the next one I'm trying. So I'm gonna open it up and see what it looks like. Hopefully it is good on the inside. It's always hard to tell from the outside because there can be a lot of browning on the outside, even if the inside is green. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and have a look at it. And you can see it left a complete hay mess. This isn't all just from this bale. I had hauled hay earlier, but I really need to vacuum my car out now. But you can tell I live in Wisconsin because I have snow boots and a snow scraper in the back of my car, as well as jumper cables. But yeah, there's my messy trunk. So this is the hay bale, and this is baler's twine, which is what they use to bale hay pretty much. So it's just uh, pieces of twine wrapped around a hay bale to make sure that it stays in place. But we need to make sure we remove these because they are not safe if rabbits eat the twine. Like you don't want them to eat this rope part. Same thing with horses, they can't have it either. So pretty much what we're gonna do is we're going to place the bale into this cardboard box first. It's just a very large cardboard box. That's just what I keep my hay in. And then I'm gonna snip these off and pull it out of the bale. So I have it inside my cardboard box now and I'm just gonna go ahead and snip off these baler twine. And then you just simply pull it out. It's very easy. Sometimes like little fibers get left behind so you just kinda have to pick at them. There we go. So now we can go ahead and open the bale up and actually see what it looks like because the outside is always very deceiving. So you kind of have to like open it up and kind of see what's on the inside. So I've kind of looked through the bale. It looks fairly decent. It's pretty green and I think my rabbits will really like it. I think this is first crop, which second crop is normally what rabbits do prefer to eat. So I have to wait a bit, little bit longer in Wisconsin because Wisconsin's second crop is really late in the season. So I do have to wait for second crop to come, but this should be good in the meantime. And it's fairly green, there is some brown in it, but every bale does vary. I'm just gonna see how the rabbits like it. So what I do next is I have this green bin. I've had this for years, literally. It's a Rubbermaid container, literally from Shopgo, I think. But you could probably get it at like Walmart or something. I use this to store my hay short term. So pretty much this is just what I use to fill up the hay racks on a daily basis. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place like a flake or so inside of this just like that and then i have enough for probably a day or two for my bunnies just to kind of fill up their hay racks so let's go ahead and show the rabbits and see what they think so the floor is already really messy over here because i've been giving the bunnies hay piles recently so that just means i just throw the hay on the floor and it gets really full of hay but I kind of do that when it's like a treat hay or something fun so I can see if they like it. So Sterling is happily munching away and you can kind of see the hay a little bit better in this lighting. It's definitely pretty green. There is a couple like brown pieces but that's to be expected. So you can kind of see the hay a little bit better in this lighting. It is fairly green. It has, <laughs> Sterling doesn't want me to touch it. It's fairly green. It's got a lot of nice stuff in it. So the bunnies are munching away. I think they're really gonna like it because <laughs> he doesn't want me touching this because it's so grassy. The last bale I had from a different hay supplier was very stemmy. It was like, and like the stems they don't really eat. They kind of just toss it to the side. So like the stems are more like stuff like this. And the grass is just more, you know, grassy. So he's really mad at me that I'm touching his hay. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna get the best piece. So yeah, they definitely have loved this so far. So I think it's orchard grass from what I've seen. The little like heads of it kind of look like orchard grass to me. So that's what I think this hay is. The reason I don't know is I didn't actually go to the hay supplier. I just got it from a friend of mine. And if I like it, I'm gonna get some from her hay supplier. So that's why I don't exactly know, but I'm pretty sure it is 
orchard grass because I do know he sells that. So there's Lulu munching on the hay and she's liking it. Mocha isn't really in the mood to eat hay. He, I just woke him up and he's really groggy. He's had a lot of issues with mobility recently and he can't see very well anymore and he's just having a lot of issues so it's kind of hard for him to wake up in the middle of the day and eat hay but he was eating this morning and he was just fine it's just when you wake him up from a nap he doesn't want to get up so i'm gonna see if ebony wants some but she might not want to come out of her hidey house she's still having a lot of like anxiety issues as well so here okay So basically after the hay goes in the hay bin, I just take it into the bunny pens. I either put it in a pile on the floor or I put it in their hay racks. Their hay racks are always full, but then I also additionally put some on the floor. So one of the hay racks is here. I just open it up and place hay in there. It's already full of hay, so I'm just gonna leave it. And then they eat down there. Sterling and Bell's hay rack is a bent and I secret down there. And then Ebony in her cage just has a pile of hay inside of her litter box. So that's kind of how I do my hay and just sort of the process. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's kind of a different video, but let me know down below if you guys have any questions. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all very soon on a new video. Bye.